Hey everyone, it is time for Twitter Scope, and my name is Don Carter at Decart on the socials, and I'm so glad you're here. Every single day, we are pushing back. My hair is falling down. We're pushing back the veil of ignorance that surrounds Twitter one broadcast at a time. I don't know if you've ever said or if you've had friends that have said, oh, screw it. Forget this, this hair. I don't know. Whatever. I'm sorry. We're like, thus the love of live broadcast, right? Um, I don't know if you've ever said or if you've ever had a friend say, I just don't get Twitter. I don't understand how to use Twitter to connect with my prospects, to connect with my tribe, to connect with customers, or to build my platform within my industry. So thus, Twitter Scope was born. Uh, we are on episode number 118 today, and we're, I'm going to talk about three changes that are coming up for Twitter. And you may already have heard about these, but just in case you aren't reading all the social media magazines that I, or <laughs> blog posts that I do, I wanted to share these. Just so you, a quick reminder, all of these past episodes you can find on YouTube. Just search hashtag Twitter scope and they will all come up. So if you're new to Twitter, if you've been on it for a while and you're just deciding to reactivate it, um, lots and lots and lots of uh, handy tips and things, a lot of questions, basically the 10, 15 most frequently asked questions that people are always asking about Twitter, little videos that are on there. So what are these, what's going on with Twitter? What is up with Twitter right now? Well, if you've been following Twitter, if you've been using it, you may not know over the past few months, over the past, I'd say over the past year, Twitter has introduced three new things that you may already be using. Number one, they're, they've introduced polls. So now you can actually send out a little poll to all of your followers. And it's a really nice, handy um, little tool that is um, very nice. Um, I actually did a, a Twitter scope about it a little while about using polls. The other thing that they introduced is using GIFs. So now when you're replying to someone, they're actually really fun. They're little funny little video clips of slow claps or like a uh, face palm or whatever. So really, really nice that you can basically add a little bit of emotion, a little bit of like humanizing your interactions. And then the other thing you can do now on Twitter as well is that you can also follow Periscope broadcasts in tweets. You don't have to go over to Periscope. You can actually be re watching your Twitter feed. And if someone is broadcasting using Periscope, like I will do for Twitter scope, you can actually watch it in Twitter. So those were changes that were made earlier this year. Well, what is Twitter up to? I, I actually am really glad um, that they are making this first change. And basically, if you know, in Twitter, you only have 140 characters. So everything is about conserving space, shortening what you're going to say. And there's a, there's a good aspect to that because it makes you be brief and it makes you be concise and choose your words carefully. Um, but one of the things that you can't do in the past is that the username of whoever you're replying to took up real estate. In other words, it took up space of those 140 characters. So at names and replies are no longer going to take up space. So hallelujah that I actually am so happy, especially if you've got people that have long and long Twitter names. Like mine happens to be fairly short, but there's some that have really long Twitter names. And that means basically the longer the name, the less space you had to reply to them. So that's going to go away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, but it's not going to happen for a couple months. They said be watching for this. The other thing that's nice about conserving space is that media attachments such as photos, videos, GIFs, or polls will no longer count against your 140 as well. So they've introduced, they will introduce two things that are I'll call them space conserving, which for the hardcore folks who've been using it, this is good news because all the time you are, especially if you're replying to a bunch of people, all those at names were taking up space. So I thought that was a great announcement. So the first change that's going on is basically one and two. These first two things have to do with space. These two things, oh, I can use this. I can use my hand. These two things have to do with the 140 character space. The next um, change that they're going to be adding is the, the ability for you to retweet and quote yourself. Retweet and quote. And we've talked about this before, that if you, you're given the choice, if you want to retweet someone, um, you can either retweet, which just means send it off as it is, or I prefer to actually use the quote, which means 
you're sending that out and then it gives you space to say something about that. So in the past, you could only retweet and quote other people. They will be introducing the ability to retweet and quote yourself. So I think the reason for that would be if you sent out something particularly brilliant or you had something you want to send out again, or maybe you have extra thought, uh, you want to clarify something that you have said, um, now you can retweet and quote yourself. Great, great news. Finally, the last one is, and this is going to be affect a past Twitter scope that I did about the at mention trick. We've talked about this. Is that the correct way? Yeah, the at mention trick. In the past, when you were sending a tweet out, a fresh new tweet to someone, and you were starting it with their name, it only went to the people that followed you and that followed that person, it, or, or actually only went to the people that followed that person. So uh, it didn't, wouldn't show up on everyone's timeline. So the way that the tricky people would get around it, you'd put a dot, a little period before that at. That's going away, which is so nice because it was such a pain. So now if you want to start a new tweet at, at mentioning someone else at the beginning of your tweet, so in other words, if you were saying at Descartes, watched your Twitter scope today or something like that. If you were sending out a tweet that was like that, you would no longer have to put a dot if you wanted everyone to see that. So it's just a little tiny change, but basically it means that when you are speaking to someone with an app mention or with, yeah, using their name, it's going to go to everyone. If you want it to be private now, use your DM. If you're both following each other, you got to be uh, using use your direct messages. So those are the three changes that are upcoming. So just a little reminder of what the ah <laughs> reminder of what those are. Here you go. Um, the at name and replies and media attachments no longer count against your 140. Um, next, you you can retweet and quote yourself, and then there's no more of that stupid at thing. So now, if you start a tweet using someone else someone else's Twitter name, it's going to go to everyone. So that was episode 118 of Twitter Scope. Again, three upcoming changes that are going to come up on Twitter, which actually, they kind of make me happy. I think these are good changes, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, remember, all the past episodes you can find on YouTube, and if you're catching this on YouTube, thank you so much. Please do hit subscribe. would love that, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Twitter Scope.